Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from No Tide Media because I didn't want to put it on a bow tie today. Uh, but we've got a brand new reaction to a brand new Pendulum track. Pendulum is back. The drum and house, I want to say pioneers, but they're, they're definitely up there. The uh, One of the main kind of producers and uh, beloved artists uh, of the genre. Uh, they're back. I should say drum, drum step too as well, drum and bass. But, um, they did so much more, but they're back with a brand new track called Halo with Bullet For My Valentine. Uh, I'm excited for this track. The last thing we got from them was 2021, which I thought was a little underwhelming, the Elemental EP. But new stuff is out now, and we're going to react to it because this was the one that was voted on by uh, the members on uh, on which song to react to for this week, and this is on that one, so that's what we're talking about. So if you want to be part of the channel members today, uh, channel membership, and uh, for just two bucks a month Canadian, uh, you can join and have a say in uh, what songs get uh, a video. So, but without for any further ado, let's hop into it. This is Halo. <laughs> You're just in stuff like pretty much right away. Is that Rob Swire or is that just someone on Bullet Front Valentine that sounds like it? Oh well scrap. Wow. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> New track. Uh, Halo Pendulum. Uh, man, that thing just went hard off the bat. Um, it really did not let loose in any capacity. It just kind of went and went and went. Um, and you know, I, I enjoyed it. I, I definitely enjoyed it. I think of all of the kind of stuff that I, I've never been a huge fan of like the kind of metal scream core kind of stuff, but I do think it works best with drum and bass or at least this kind of drum step style. Uh, and so in that sense, I actually, I don't mind it. I feel like it matches the tone of the track quite a bit. I will say it does feel a little dated. It does feel like a little bit of an older track, which is sort of the issue that I had with Pendulum in the past where their first like I felt like Immersion, their album felt like when you go back and listen to it, it feels like, oh, this is like a classic. This feels like a like an old school classic. But nowadays it feels like they're they're sort of making the same-ish style of song. And it doesn't feel like it's that classic sound. It kind of just feels dated. I don't know if that makes sense. Where they're doing the same thing over and over again, and now it doesn't it doesn't feel like a classic. It feels a little bit more dated. And so yeah, uh, that's what that's what I have to say. It's a little bit on the shorter side. I mean, I really enjoy. I've if you've been around the channel for much, you know, I enjoy a lot longer songs and multi movement tracks and kind of ebbs and flows. But this one kind of just goes, kind of just goes. It just kind of just goes and goes and goes and doesn't really hold back as much. But um, yeah, so. In the end, I think it's just like it's a solid D&B track. I don't think it's anything specifically to write home about. I wouldn't say this is like a, like one of the greatest things Pendulum's put out, but uh, it's still a solid track nonetheless. But um, yeah, I don't know. I just felt like at this, that's sort of what I expected. I, I feel like I wouldn't say underwhelmed in the end, but it is what I expected it to be um, hearing it and knowing at least a little bit of Bullet for My Valentine or at least this being what Matt and Matt, whatever his name is, Matt Tuck. Yeah, so that's that's my opinion on the track. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Anything and all in the comment section below. But other than that, uh, I've been Dakota from Brotide Media, and I will see you guys in another video.